two meter J pole made out of half inch copper pipe. These plans are online. I did not create these plans. They're readily available and I will give reference to the gentleman that put them online in a little bit here. Basically real simple. The whole 10 foot pole for the copper pipe was 12 or 13 bucks. You'll need some extra odds and ends, some fittings, and a few basic plumbing supplies. But should be able to build this for 20 bucks, a little bit less. And we'll see how it goes. The only thing I've done so far is cut the long section, according to the plans, the A element. And I cut it a little bit long so that I can trim it off at the top. And make sure you get the T fittings and the elbow fittings as well. But again, it's pretty straightforward. And we'll see how this turns out. Okay, the measurement for the A run is from, from there to the end. Not the center, but from the end. <laughs> kind of hard to explain. It's not the center of the copper pipe. It's right from where that tape is seated. And for 146 megahertz, this is supposed to be 57.96 inches. Just a smidge under 58. So we'll get real close and nip that off. Also keep in mind that cap is going to put just a little bit extra on the end. These are just dry fitted right now. The cap is just placed on there. The measurement for the smaller run is supposed to be 19.2 inches for 146 megahertz. So I'm going to make this 19 and then that cap will pick up just a little bit, add just a little bit to the end. This is my solution for tuning this thing. I took careful measurements and drilled those holes where the paper indicated they should be, but the SWRs are just not as good there as a little bit higher. With those copper rings, you can slide it up and down and really tune it in. At about 146.5, I'm around a 1.3 to 1 in that spot. That seems to be about as good as I can get. When it's on the pole outside, um, it may drop a little bit more, I'm not sure. But we will see. And that's all together. I used some PC metal JB Weld like stuff from the hardware store to kind of neaten that up and keep it keep it on there. There's a little hose cl hose clamp holding that down there. These two were tuned until I got down to about a 1.3 to 1.5. That's about as good as I could do. And then I put a little bit of flux and soldered these on, so these aren't going anywhere either. And the next step is to get it up on a pole outside and see. The only difference between the testing before and now is I've got a longer run of 58U, which I'm sure will take a little bit of the oomph out of the signal but we'll see. And that's all up and mounted. It's real solid, about 1.4, 1 1.5 to 1 across the 147 to 148 range. Way off on 440. But it's been tuned for two. It's a relatively long cable run, which I know sucks up some of the some of the output. Let me take a look from up on the deck. And a little bit closer. The 
These are five turns at about four or five inches in diameter. Match it all a little bit better. And the run just goes underneath of here, around, down, and then in. And as far as performance, it's an extremely humid afternoon. The bands are very quiet. And I need to test that some more. I brought up a couple more machines than I was able to before. Thanks for watching.